hopefully we'll get better and better at that. All right. But right now, I have my mystery plant clown pan. We have to get to know each other. So I'm going to pull one out and I'm going to start with Matthew. These are some questions, Matthew, and I want to see if you can answer. If you were a teacher, what rule would you make? I would make no running in the house. No running. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to give you a heart for that. That's a good one. That's a safety rule. For science. They might get mixed up. <laughs> and you like science, too. I know you're good at science. <laughs> awesome. Okay, I got to pull another one. And this time, this one is for Victoria. Okay, hey, Victoria, here we go. I say I love you, Thomas. If you could be a famous person, Victoria, for a whole week, who would you be? Hmm. Who would you be, Victoria, if you could be famous? A unicorn girl. Who? A unicorn girl. A unicorn. Oh, I love that. A unicorn girl. I think you'll be a unicorn superhero. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Now this one's for Thomas. Do you think you can answer a question, Thomas? Let's give it a try. Okay, Thomas. This is for you. And I, mm. and teacher, okay, if you I could be any Thomas age, I what age you. would you be? How old do you want to be, Thomas? How old? How old do you want to be? You want to be two? You want to be three? You want to be four or five? How hey, old do you want to be? I'm four. Matthew thinks you want to be five. Do you want to be five, Thomas? Like a dinosaur. The dinosaurs are super old. You want to be super old? Thomas, she's talking to you. Look, put that down. How old do you My son's grandma is almost 100 years old. Do you want to be 100? <laughs> Wow. You want to be 100 or you want to be 10? Yeah. Yeah. Well, do you want to be 100 or 10? It doesn't matter. Ten. Look over there. Don't look at me. How old? You just said it. Say, I want to be what? Ten. I love you, Thomas. Ten. That's great. I wrote it down on the paper. Thank you, Thomas. All right, friends. That was really good. We are going to start learning a little bit more about each other every single day. Okay. Now, I want everybody to do a listening. Nobody's talking. Everybody's listening. Everybody, clap your hands. Can you do that? Everybody clap your hands. Everybody clap up high. Up high. Everybody clap down low. Oh. Everybody clap really slow. I can clap really super duper slow. Ooh, that is really slow. <laughs> Oh, I could tell that you guys were using your good listening ears. Now we have a special book. Teacher Christian has a book for you guys. So you really need to be respectful. Remember in group times, we use our ears, we use our eyes, we calm our body. And then when we start to talk about things, we, we talk together. But right now it's a listening to the story. So Teacher Christian will get her book. And I think it's called A Friend is Someone Who. Hey. Yeah, let me call it. No, it's a... 
it's a reading. So this is a friend who is someone who. A friend is someone who hugs you when you're sad or feeling blue. When things don't go as well as planned, your friend will comfort you and understand. If you feel like stopping before you even start, a friend encourages you so you don't lose heart. Your friend will be there waiting by your side to give you the strength you need inside. You and your friend hang around together. I you share you help people like that, Matthew. <laughs> you share sunny jokes, even when it's stormy weather. Your friend always knows the things that make you smile, even if you don't always share the same style. If you have a secret to share, it's good to tell it to someone who will care. When you don't want anyone to spread your news, a true friend won't spill out any tiny hints or clues. When you're passing time with your friend, you wish the day would never end. Sometimes the simplest thing you do will stick in your memory like happy glue. Your best friend can teach you how to soar, and if you're shy, your friend might get you to roar. Thanks to what your friend suggests, you might get to do something that makes you feel like a completely new you. If you're anxious and feeling a bit scared, your friend can help you get prepared. Soon you'll be brave enough to begin, and your friend will cheer the loudest when you win. Your friend can give you courage to face the unknown. With your friend by your side, you know you're not alone. Even if you're both scared, that's okay too. You can help each other figure out what to do. There isn't anything more wonderful than playing pretend. You can make up stories and act them out with your friend. You'll take turns playing the hero and the villain too. Adventure awaits, there's treasure to pursue. When you're discouraged, your friend can make you smile. Silly jokes and antics lift you up after a while. And when your friend is feeling down, you can be the one to tell jokes, act silly, and change the mood to fun. You might feel that you'll never have a friend, but there's one easy way to make this feeling end. Just reach out to someone who feels the same way as you. It's the best way to start a friendship with someone new. Your big sister can be an angel in disguise. She watches over you so you don't do something unwise. E even though she might be older, she's your friend too. She's a special kind of friend who also loves you. Your big sister can... Is this the same one? <laughs> okay. Sometimes you're so filled up you want to explode. Your brother will listen and let you unload. Then instead of telling you what he thinks you should do, he guides you to the answer that is right for you. As you grow up, you'll attend lots of different schools. And when you get there, you'll need to learn new rules. Your teachers can be good friends. They care about you too. They want to see you be your best in everything you do. A friend isn't always a person. Pets are different than the rest. Even though they cannot talk, there are times when they know best. They stay close by and cuddle you when you're feeling sad and bounce about and wag their tails when you're feeling glad. Your mom has always loved you from the very first day. She has a friendly way of teaching you while you're both at play. She shows you all the yummy foods that home chefs can make. And she'll be bursting with pride when you bake your very first cake. 
Sometimes your dad is your best friend on earth. He encourages you to try harder and understand your worth. He'll help you step by step to reach your goal every day. To <laughs> reach your every goal as you practice to get the golf ball in the hole. Your grandma is part of your family, but she can also be your friend. You know you can tell her anything. On her advice, you can depend. She tells you many stories about when she was your age and reads you books at bedtime as you turn each page. Going for a nature walk with your grandpa is a very fun thing to do. He knows about the plants and animals and he'll be glad to teach you. You can share your dreams with him and he'll say he understands. As your friend, he loves to hear about all your adventurous plans. If you look in the mirror, you'll see a friendly face looking back. Be kind to yourself, be positive, and you will stay on track. Life sometimes get bumpy, but no matter who you are, if you learn to be your own best friend, you'll always be a star. The end. That was a nice book. Look, friends, my friend is here. This is Zena. Can you say hi, Zena? Hi, Zena. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she has a sister too, but her sister's out hunting lizards right hi, now. <laughs> You've hi. seen Zena before, huh? Hi, 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 Thomas. You know hi, Zena. Hi, She's hi, my hi, friend. Hi. All right, friends. Thank you so much for joining us today. We had a really nice group time with you. And we'll see you again. Let's see. Tomorrow's Thursday, so we have our music time. And then on Friday, we have our morning group time again at 8.30. See what you guys. Time tomorrow? Thank you. What time is music time tomorrow? Thank you. Oh, tomorrow we're at 1 o'clock. Okay, great. Thank you. So we'll Thank see you, you for bye. music at 1 o'clock. Oh, look at bye. Thomas got his friend. Bye. Nice bye. job, Thomas. <laughs> bye. 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 Bye, everybody. Bye. There's that smile, Thomas. Woohoo! I like to see that. That's so nice. You're always smiling by the end. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>